why would you cut this part here that has to fit there and it'd have to be exactly the same dimensions it would have to be exactly the dimensions of the object that went there like this has to be all in proportion this has to be the same size distance so does this so does that it had to fit in there Easy Tigers, I hope everyone's fine and dandy. Welcome back as always. Today we've got an exclusive episode where I walk around these macro structures exposing them and I'm gonna walk from this part here to here. And it's around seven to 800 meters. So I'm gonna show you the scale of these structures. A little zoom in. The yellow marks is where I walked today and it's gonna show you exactly incredibly old man-made macro structures. Yeah, so we're just gonna walk through this part now. And I'll show you what's going on in here. Right, natural my backside. Ooh. But this is a very important part here because you can see where it's done in sections. And not only that, because you normally look at it from the outside, but here you get a chance to go inside and you can see what the block work, sectional block work looks like from the inside. So let's go down and have a look. So stinks of urine around here, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know that. Alright. Like I said, yeah? Sectional. So you know that iron sheeting would have gone in there. And you can actually see remnants of iron. Because you know that an iron sheet went in there. For a fact, it's got iron here. Wow, look at that. Look at this. Going in, into the geopolymer, all right? So if this is natural, how the heck is this pipe in here? Where is it coming from and where was it going to? Natural, my backside. So here you can see individual, individual block on its own. Another individual block, completely different color, this one. So it looks like they cast this in bigger sections and I was just adding these bits towards the end because it, it, it's getting, the slivers were getting smaller as it went along. Again, you just know iron was in there, iron. But it's now, this is now a uh, tunnel. Oh, look at that. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. There's actually... Oh, There's iron just there underneath, but I think the sun's literally, if you follow this arch, you can see there's a little bit of iron there, stuck there, like I said. Here's the render for the terrazzo. Now all of the, the whole of this area, maybe, maybe not, but what I do know is the whole of these structures were covered like this. And it is about two inches thick. Well, this is about one inch thick, and then you've got some like pre stuff before that. So, so that's quite interesting that part, but there's, an, there's only a couple of parts where I've seen this on. But you know that the whole of this structure would have looked like that, would have had this all over it. It wouldn't have looked like this. It's because these are, these are buildings, these are, these are complexes. These are not nat it's, it's made out of natural stone, yeah, but it, it's not natural. This is not, this is not being produced by sediments being left over millions and millions and millions of years. These are flipping vertical for Christ Jesus. For, for Satan's sake, you know? But look, boom, boom, boom. Sedimentary is, 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 is sees flat, right, level. So why is it vertical? But we know why, because it's done in sections. It's cast in sections and it's separated by iron sheeting which is abundant everywhere. Now this actually goes into a five story car park. So you, 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 um, the reason I'm saying that is because it gives you an idea of the cavity inside the structure underneath the letter, which is all in here. So I thought I'd just paint that little picture for you. But yeah, clear, clear as day, sectional block work. 
And when I say sectional, it doesn't mean that it's actual blocks, right? It, 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 what I'm discovering, it's squares, triangles, and especially when you get to places like um, tunnels, the shapes go quite mad. The shapes get really mad and funky, like 3D, like a 3D puzzle. But I guess it's all done for strength, right? Like even if you look down here, you can see it's done in a geopolymer, and then the blocks have been built on top made out of the geopolymer. So you can see where they've chopped it down. It's just been leveled off. So let's just get this right. Koya is really happy, that geezer. So you've got the GOP, you can see a thin layer of it. Obviously it's all of this, the whole lot. It's all been cast, all of it. A whole shebang. And then it was all decorated with terrazzo, which is that bit there. The whole lot was covered in it. You can see they've tried to hide it. They've, they, there was obviously concrete up the wall at one point. Let's get over the road. So again, these are no more than fronts to buildings. This is behind this, like I've showed you. And if I lean over now and show you, look, I mean, look, come on. This is the GOP down here, right? GOP. And then the block work on top. So, it just goes back. But it's, it's lined with concrete in there. I'll probably go in there one day. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's just for services just to run the services through. Again, this is a substation for any mortar. And these are no more than fronts, by the way. These are just fronts. Like I said, the building Behind is in GOP, and this is a front. Obviously the interior will all be done with, here we go. Here we go. Until I get kicked out, all right? All right, so it's a car park, I think. So the structures at the back, this is an external structure on top, GP. Interesting. Costa Pacifica. Let's get Pacifica about this, right? Let's get Pacifica. So they're using it as a car park, as always. Again, you can see down there, a bit of the GP. It's not, that's not megalithic block work, it's part of a GP. But they've put a barrier in here. So they've turned it into a, um, car park. I'm surprised they didn't put a bit of mud, a bit of grass and a few trees and call it a nature reserve. <laughs> this is what these cats get up to like. We, we've worked out their um, we've worked out their blinking plans, their goals, how they do things. Here we go. Again you've got all these recesses going in the wall. I mean what is going on here? Come on guys. Allah. Liba Madonna. Allah. Allahim. Again, you got this is this is very funky this part here. I love this bit of stone though. This is such a lovely bit of stone. Uh, this is flipping incredible. But uh, yeah, you got this like. It's like it's. I don't know what's happened here. It's like. It's going to sound funky saying this, but it's like it's, I don't think it's possible, but it's like it's fossilised iron sheeting. Because it looks like corrugated steel, doesn't it? And it's exactly where the corrugated steel would go, where it separates like the two blocks. And to prove it is blocks, I mean, come on guys, look at the overlapping stuff. It's just lapping, cuz. It's just flapping and lapping. Ah, bro. Magazine, no. So yeah, we're gonna get round here. Again, I'm just showing you, just showing you. This is geopolymer here. This is the geopolymer. And you can see where it's chopped down here. So from here, they've chopped it down. 
and then they, it's, it's block work. But actually, if I show you this part in here, actually, I can't believe I didn't show it to you. Because what the best thing to do is find what you think is a nug, or what I call a nug. I will make a dictionary one day, by the way, because some of these words are like people are like, what the blinking hell? But I know loads of people use it now. Right, <clears throat> so you can see by the way a service come down into this part here. I don't know what's grinding in here, but clearly a service come down, boom, into there. Again, section, section, cast in section. But here is where it's got damaged and I've chopped it. It looks like I've chopped it to be honest, yeah. But it goes down a bit more, and like I said, outside there, you can still see a bit of the GP. I thought I'd just share that bit with you. Oh, pardon me. So that's all sodium. So this would be made of sodium silicate, calcium carbonate, lime, which is calcium carbonate, No more than fronts. So, here, excellent, excellente. You can see here the section, the section. This is a lovely, I love this spot. I love this spot a lot. Because you can see what's going on. This is just, a, this is like an addition to the complex that's got left. I mean, think about it. If this, for this wall to be here, if this was from natural stone, that means everything from here, going up all the way to the top of there, all of that area, all of that inside there, and all of this would have had to be excavated just to leave this sliver of rock. All that work, imagine all that work just to leave that bit of rock there. When you could just put some boards up, bang them together with some screws, and then pour some sort of mixture in. You can see here, actually, where it starts to flap over each other. Interesting stuff though, right? And again, seems to be some sort of service going into here. This is a lovely, lovely part of geopolymer around here. And you can see a service went up there. You can see where they're cross-sectionals. Well, I need to get on the other side of the road so you can get full benefit of this. Right, what's going on here? What went on here, right? Like I said, when you see it all scratched up like that, you know it's very close to the finished wall, as in pre-render. Pre-render is not a material, by the way, it's the condition of the stone. That's what I mean by pre-render. So it's, it's like this. Let me get to a bit. This is deteriorated and eroded. Obviously, we've got the sea just there. But when I say pre-render, I mean this. When it's scratched up like that. Yeah? Can you see it? This is where it's knackered, that's where it's pre-render. So they'd render over that, which is like you see here, all right? So that's why I say that. Pre-render is not a material, it's the condition of the stone, which literally probably once it's cured, once it's been laid or made or, or cut or whatever, you, however you perceive these structures to be made, they'll then go and scratch up the surface, which is the pre-render surface, and then they go around and render it just like this. You get me? You get me, good. Now, another little addition to this is this whole building, is made out of geopolymer. The whole lot is made out of cast stone. And again, it's a completely different colour to what's there. This and this, separate. Down here, it's all one stone, but it's been cast. Here you can see services running around the wall. You can also see two other services coming into that service there. Can you see it? There's even a pipe in that one there and there. And you can see that they go into that there. That might even be a little access room for access. 
to do some sort of maintenance or something, I'm not sure. But you can see, and I'm gonna start pointing out features in a minute, but what my main point is, this is geopolymer. Geopolymer all the way up, all the way up, right? All of the way up. Now, again, this whole area that we're looking at would have had to be the same stone, all one big bit of stone, and they would have had to excavate all of this area and all of this area just to put, just to keep this stone here to make this house or this building or wherever it is. Better cross over. If you come over here, you can see that this side, they've done the actual walls in block work. But up to here, it's GOP. Up to there, it's GOP. And even going up to the center of the building on here, just above the, uh, the, the bridge, it's actually geopolymer. You can see the steps there. I don't know if you can see them steps coming down, boom, boom, boom. Plus you've got two services going into a bigger one up there next to a box or something, if you can see it going down the wall. And then it comes, see they're buried, them services. So they're obviously going beyond the stairs. But once it comes underneath the stairs, it comes wall mounted. So when people see pipes or, or chase marks that stop like that, that means they're no longer buried in the wall and they've come to be wall mounted. So they're sitting external. Again, you've got more geopolymer stone here. And you can see where it's been chopped down here. Yeah? Again, I'm just going to stress that I've had to remove all of the stone here. All of the stone that was here to keep this here. And again, what do we see? What do we see? Iron. And then obviously you've got more of it there. Now, there you can see services running down the wall. It's all one massive structure. Thank you. This is all one massive structure and it's humongous. Now, this feature here that you can see, that you can see that a line comes down the wall faintly and then it comes down in a 45 degree or a vertical. Again, where it's the chase mark stops, that means it becomes external. So it's no longer buried in the wall, it's now an external pipe. So maybe there was a draw off point for water inside some sort of box there, because you can actually see some sort of framing that went there. And this, this service mark actually ends up inside the framing. So there's an external structure that went here, maybe made out of wood. And I guess this chase mark running along here was for water. You can actually see where it's been blocked up or bricked up. Well, they filled the gap in with bricks, but you can see a hole just there. So I guess the water, because I guess it must be water, comes from there. Like I just, and this is a very common feature, by the way, seeing it come down, it's splitting up a 45 or, or vertical. But that's what's going on there. So an external part of the structure went there. And you can actually see this whole cast lion. I don't know if you can be able to see it going down. The light is not too good around here. I did try and get it in the morning. Let's see if I can talk Maltese to these guys. Yeah, look, yeah, look, more GOP, all right? More GOP. So these have just been built directly on top. And this is why it's so important when I say this. And I'm just going to clarify now. When I say that you've got the blocks made of GOP that sit on top of the geopolymer, the reason I say that is because if you then, when you're out and about, out in the field examining stuff, and you come across these sort of blocks, when you see these, right, that means that you know either below, like here, or very close is geopolymer. So that's why I keep stressing and saying, when you see them, that's about. Now this is interesting, because this is, an unusual size pipe, that's 100, but that's almost like a five inch pipe, which is unusual, very unusual. And I can tell that it's actually elbowing this way, so it's going like that. So that's collecting something and going back that way. But look, look at this, in the GOP, right? Here it is pre-render, like I explained earlier, where it's flush. 
and that's that's even you can see like here actually you can see that it's pre-render and a lot of it's deteriorated just underneath that's why they got that barrier up to catch it if it falls i'll catch you if you fall but yeah look gop interesting so is it was this stone cast here look at that very interesting stuff huh so you've got the iron there so we know seeing this we know that iron does go here so was this very interesting again like i said you've got that feature there yeah so it comes down one 45 boom boom Right, uh, I'm, I'm. so you can see again comes down 45 or, or down here but they both come wall mounted here by the way because they both end up external meaning they're no longer buried again we seem to have lost the GOP here again you've got another service coming down here there is an outlet you can see a, a little block there so i believe when it does the 45 degree going down here that would have been external sitting on the outside of this wall while that one was buried can you see it now we've got some mad symbolism here flipping dodgy you've got some arrows you've got this that i don't know what's going on you tell me i'm not uh, i'm not a sigil expert but something iguan Again, we are now coming to this feature again. This is the fourth one I've just shown you. So you have a service. You can see that actually, right, this is it now. They actually are just very slippery gits. So you see this, what, this mesh, that's actually sitting exactly, oh my God, I can see so much stuff here. Right, I'm gonna take a picture and zoom in now. Right, so you can see where is she where is she here right you can see that bit there like where my finger is i can see a, a hole in the geopolymer so a pipe went in there and come down and fed boom 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 like that crazy stuff right now was there a cable or something running up there or was that sectional i don't know i don't know again you've got iron up there i don't know if you're going to be able to see it And again, I've just noticed something else. Just like round the corner, this bit would have been sitting inside some sort of external boxing, wooden framing or something. You can actually see the, the, uh, the roof of it there. And, and you can see the wall, keyholes for the wood to go in the wall there. So yeah, again, this seems to be some sort of water feature that goes to inside the, the property or inside this part of the complex. And it's a very hot place, you know. There's the iron up there, if you can see it. And again, like this is just getting ridiculous now, like. Boom, here we go. So it comes down again. So like I was saying earlier, this actual uh, garden is actually hiding the, 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 the primary that feeds these chase marks that comes down here and down here. But while we're here, look at the iron. So by the way, the, the blocks don't go backwards, they go back at an angle, they go back at a 135 or 45 degree angle. But again, this is, this is it. Look, you can see, boom, 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 services, services. Here you can see iron would have gone in there, but it's, it seems to have like come off. And they try and hide it. They try and hide it with stuff like this. Again, you've got abundant amount of iron and you can see where it goes back at an angle like that. Again, you've got, boom. Uh, and by the way, just look at all the fibers in this. These fiber, even though the wall has deteriorated, look how much these fibers are sticking out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, huh? Again, you've got a service running along here. 
Let's take one of these blocks out. I mean, what's happened here, eh? Now here it's just abundant, abundant iron everywhere. This lot here, I think are all substations for any mortar. So there's, there's a lot of power, um, power stuff going on behind these walls. Again, just going up the building, you can see the iron. And this is a great example here. I'll start from down here. So this is a section on its own, right? And it had been cast in between this iron and a bit of iron that goes back that way, all right? So it goes like that and like that. And you can see the iron here going up and you can see the iron here on this side going up. And what they do is they cover it up like that. You see? Sections, you can really see it here, really. And all the fibers, it's funny how the fibers, oh my God. Can you see that corrugated steel up there? Just here, it actually runs along here. Unbelievable. So yeah, you've got the iron sitting here. So this was cast in between these iron sheetings going that way. Oh. And the same with this part here. You can see the iron on the wall. And then going back, completely flush. Again, chase mark come round here. It looks like it's coming from a power station. Well, it's now used as something to do with a power station, I think. But you can see a service come round here. It's just, this has been added, you know? I don't know why someone would put that in there, but it comes down here, boom. Uh, this actually looks like one of the blocks that covered it up. And then someone's actually gone out of their way to put, fill it in. I wonder how long ago that was done. And I I think that is actually part of the service there, you know? It looks like a pipe. Again, I keep finding all sorts of stuff around here. Again, every now and then you see bits of GP poking up out of the, uh, the current ground level, which is just, was a lot lower than this, because, uh, not a lot lower, because just behind is a sea level. But, you can see here, that the ground lower level was a lot lower because the services are running below the current ground level. And what they do is, for these buildings, to get modern cables and, and modern uh, building services running to them, they've had to lay, lay it down before the road went down. And that's why the road levels have risen. Again, GOP, down at the bottom and then built on top. Like I say, over and over again. If you see these blocks, you know that this is underneath. Not always, but it will be, but it'll be buried. So you'll have a new ground level like that and you won't see the GOP. Or it'll be very, very close. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Again, look at this. That's completely different. Look at that. Completely different color, completely overlapping. You've got bald marks here that have been holding in something, clearly, look at that. This is ancient stuff. Ancient, ancient stuff. Didn't it just look like bald marks, no? No, I can just see absolute planks of wood, bald marks. Like, what is this about then, cousins? Like, if there weren't electricity around, what the flipping hell is that? What the flipping hell is that? I've got some blanking. I don't know what that is. But my point, anyway, 
some sort of iron went here and whatever went there was held in by this white glue stuff that we see everywhere. I need to get a sample of that somehow, but it's so hard. I actually made something very similar to this and I'll show you in, in the Brucey bonus. And you can see they use it as a glue and it's been used as a glue everywhere. So iron went here, so it might have been clips. It must have been clips for something, but to see how big this, it must have been quite heavy. Like why did it need to be supported that much? But anyway, something come down here. You can see you've got the plate again. The plate went over and this is the actual chase mark with the plate, all right? Chase mark, plate went over the top, render over that. You wouldn't even know. You just got some sort of box in here. But what's very peculiar is they're not meant to have electricity back then. So why in the world have we got this electric box set up sitting here? It's peculiar, isn't it? And again, you can see that there's a, a lip there. So there would have been an access panel there. That's what that tells me. Access panel. You can open it. That's what that is. All right. And again, I will say this one more time. As you're not going to cut something bigger than what you need because it's more work. And to do more work than what you're meant to do is probably one of the most silliest things that anyone could ever do. Because if you don't need to do it, then why are you doing it? It's a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of resources. Unless you're going to gain from it later on, which you're not, not in this instance. And again, you'll have to make it exactly to what's going there. So what went there? What went here with this size? Like why would you cut this part here that has to fit there? And it'd have to be exactly the same dimensions. Whatever went there would have to be exactly the dimensions of the object that went there. Like this has to be all in proportion. This has to be the same size distance. So does this, so does that. It had to fit in there. Now I've been in here. This was unlocked not long ago. And it's just a room, basically. It's just a room, but you can see some conduit down there. Again, you've got the old world, like this is like the glue. And they're holding in the metal with the glue. This is the old, this is the old render very old world render and it seems to be quite higher in calcium bits of calcium and it looks like a bit of rebar going through there as well i mean this is actually a mad little feature like how old is this what a beautiful beautiful thing anyway keep it moving what's going on in here we've actually got a pipe coming out of the wall here and this is meant to be geopolymer again uh, what is occurring here so that's going in All right and again you've got another service that come down the wall from up there you can see they actually come down from that corner up there down here along these plates where the plate side drops down here and there it come, terminates there but we don't actually know oh it's a bit dodgy Chase marks, bit of pipe in the wall. You've even got blinking door hinges here. Like, I'm not saying this is megalithic old world stuff. This could be from the 1800s, these door frames and stuff. But it is interesting seeing this, you know. And again, you've got more of this. This is so strong. This is so strong. Ah. Very interesting stuff, guys. I'd like to know where these places all go, all end up, you know? It goes around the corner. Pilot Academy. It's just used for storage now. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Wire net. Again, you can see some sort of render on the wall here, but I think this was probably done in the 1800s. It looks like more like some sort of concrete render. But this is a good shot because it gives you an idea of the angle that these have been cast in. You can say they go back at an angle like that, right? Here you can see some pipe work. Could be from the 1800s or it could be from recent. I don't know. It's 
Whew. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I know for a fact you're never going to see stuff like this from any other channel about Malta. You're never going to see it. Look at that. Finished, finished uh, wall down there. I oh, finished service, you can see, and they've even put a street like there, so it wouldn't surprise me whatever went here and carried on going down. The cables for this light are used in the old service marks, the old service channel marks. So the cables are probably being run inside the old chase marks underground. Here we go, look at this again. Uh, what is Guan in here? I mean, come, what the flipping hell is this? What's this? What is this? Again, what is going on here? You can see it here, coming down the wall, buried. Uh, like you wouldn't even know there's a service behind the wall, but again, you can see this has been scratched up. So this is ready to be rendered over. You wouldn't even know that this sort of stuff is behind the walls. But again, coming from an engineering sort of background, when you're dealing with this sort of services buried behind the wall and you can't identify where they are, with looking at the wall because the wall's going to be rendered by the way the wall's going to be covered with all all of that terrazzo that i showed you at that at that tunnel entrance all right so the wall's going to be covered in that so how do you identify where the pipes are and the cables are you know well i'll tell you quite easy very very easy i don't know how they done it back in the day but what they do now is we put foil behind the pipes as we lay the pipes behind the walls so we have like little devices, very basic devices that just beep when um, when they run over the um, foil in the wall. So you run the machine all over the wall, like beep, 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 beep. And when you get to like electricity, when you get to like um, where there's a cable behind the wall, because it's sitting behind the foil, on, in front of the foil, it'll go beep, 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 beep. So you know not to drill there because there's a pipe there. Or again, if you need to do maintenance, so you know there's a pipe that's dodgy behind the wall. You're going to know what sort of area it's going to be in, but then you know where it is because you're going to put the little gadget on the wall. But what would they have used back in the day? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just magnets. Maybe if they just, to find, identify where the pipes are. I don't know. But clearly this is a massive chase mark here. I'm not going to go in, but you can see, look. So this chase mark actually runs under these properties and again we don't know if this is ground level. Very interesting stuff right? Very 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 interesting. Again, I think, what is this, shipping service, okay. Obviously, it would be right close to here, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be anything else. <sighs> so there you go, guys. I've still got a lot more to do. That was just like one section. One little section I just showed you there. And I can go on for days and days and days. Part of what I just showed you is actually part of the tours that I do, where I can go around and show you like the old world stuff. And like I said, these tours are only 50 euros for the tour per couple or per, per group. So, uh, for what you're getting, it's incredible value for money. Because it took me two, three years to work out all this stuff and to find out where it was and to locate it. And then to go and make a route where you can scoop it all up the best in one hit, you know? So I think it's incredibly, um, incredibly value. Because if you go on a tour, you're not going to see anything like that. You're just going to walk around Valletta and you're going to look at buildings built from the 1600s, 1700s. You're not going to see none of this megalithic old world buried geopolymer complexes like we're looking at now. Again, 
can just see what is going in here. Look at it. Look at the size of this flipping thing. Humongous. Subliminal programming. Oh. So I thought I'd just walk in there. I'm leaving, mate. Huh? What? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving, mate. I didn't realise. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that, guys. Sorry all about that. Yeah, where was I? Yeah, the tours are 50 euros. You're never going to see stuff like that. Ever. Unless you come and see me. Or watch my channel. But if you watch the channel, you're not going to be able to locate all this stuff in one hit. So, um, guys, I'll leave you with that, all right? Please give us a like. Doesn't cost you nothing. Doesn't even cost you time or money. Even to give us a like, a subscribe and a share. Doesn't cost nothing and it doesn't cost no time or money. So, guys, please do that for me. I've given up my life for you guys to go around and collect these nugs. People think I'm out sunning it up living the dream drinking pina colada cocktails all day long it's very far from it but my point is guys don't cost you nothing to like subscribe comment and share uh, if you can support the work please because i'll give up my life for this and it is um it's difficult it's difficult to say the least but on that note, let's have a Brucey bonus and let me show you how I made granite geopolymer and also this other geopolymer glue that I've been noticing that seems to have been used to keep pipes and appliances in the correct position. And the stuff is proper strong because it's still in position now. And isn't it ironic that I made it before I found it? I made it and then I started noticing it out on site everywhere, which is just unbelievable. Can you believe it? Anyway, let me show you. On the right hand side, I made another um, mix. But this time I literally just used the ingredients from the beach. I didn't add no granite or anything like that. So this is just literally calcium hydroxide and calcium oxide and sodium silicate. So I put all these together just to see what happens. And look at this. Look at this. Solid. It's waterproof as well, by the way. But again, when you put all this in the mould, see, um, all of the aggregates fall to the bottom and the uh, liquid rises to the top. That's why I have like this layer on the top of like liquid glass slash binder. So it's literally the geopolymer glue sitting at the top. But you know. It's how you learn, you've got to make mistakes and learn. And the one on the left is the, the, uh, the granite geopolymer. So the next one I've made, which are these ones here, which will be ready in one month. And these ones... So there you go, I thought I'd just share that clip with you. It's actually uh, from about, oh, I don't know, probably about six, seven months old, that clip. But it's from a Brucey bonus from before when I made the granite. And I was just playing around with some other ingredients. But it's funny, the, re the reason I'm showing you that is because it's funny that I then start finding that same mixture or extremely similar as a glue used to hold in features and pipes on these ancient sites. I just found it ironic. Anyway guys, I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. I think I've given you enough time today, almost 45 minutes. So I hope your socks are still on. I hope they, actually I hope they've been knocked off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share and all that jazz. One love tigers. Tadas. Tada. -da. Ta -da.